here with a review of the Olight i3 EOS. So Olight, which was manufacturing, I guess still manufacturing the lights for our ITP, took the ITP A3 and remanufactured it into the Olight i3 EOS, and this is the result. It's a small AAA everyday carry light, hides in your pocket, great little size, comes in several colors, black, red, purple, yellow, and blue, lots of fashion colors. It's made of a Type 3 hard anodized aluminum, IPX8 rated, so very well constructed, very tough. Looking at the construction of it, we'll go back to front. On the back of the tail cap here, they have the Olight website, olightworld.com. You can use this light on a keychain by affixing it here. Alternatively, you can just take this thing off. The um, pocket clip here, it's affixed on the back, it's removable. Comes with a little uh, hex or a little um, little wrench to take this off. There's some Torx or hex bits there that um, you use to take that off. One thing to note, when you take this pocket clip off, if you don't put these screws back in, there's gonna be two holes there. Those two holes do not communicate with the battery compartment, so it's gonna maintain its water rating. Uh, nice design there, you're not gonna get dirt or water down into the battery compartment. The pocket clip otherwise could be better designed. So you can see here, the pocket clip goes down and it comes down into this little ledge right here. And the problem with that is that under here, there is not enough space to really get that into your pocket. I really can't get it into my pocket without actually taking my finger and lifting it up. And this pocket clip is actually pretty tight, so it's not that easy to lift it up, especially if you're doing it from the side this way. So the pocket clip, if it was either a little bit shorter, this stuck up a little bit more, or the whole light was the same thickness, it would be much easier to get into your pocket. But as it is, I don't care for the design of the pocket clip. The head here unscrews. This is where the battery goes, AAA battery, which it comes with, which is very nice. Down on the inside there, there is a little spring. In goes the battery and back on goes the head. So the function of this light, the user interface, you get to just by twisting the head. Let me turn the lights off here and we'll take a look at it. So this will do two and a half lumens for 20 hours, 20 lumens for an hour and a half, or 70 lumens for 42 minutes and you get to them by just by loosening and tightening the head. Low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So very easy to control, very nice design. Turn the lights back on. Up in the front here, we have the Cree XPG R5 LED, and there is a textured reflector. That is about it for the design of this light. It's very well designed, nice, lightweight, great little everyday carry light. Now, something this light will probably be compared a lot to is the 4.7's Prion 1. 4.7's and Olight are Kind of sort of the same company, I think. These lights have similar outputs. The four, uh, yeah, the four sevens goes 1.8, 8.5, 70 lumens, whereas this goes 2.5, 20, 70. The out, they both have the same LED. However, the the hot spot on the four sevens light is much more yellow and more focused, whereas on the O light it's much more of a pure white and a little bit more diffuse. So similar lights, the 4.7s has a much better design pocket clip. You can see there's much better space under here compared to that Olight. But otherwise, they're both very small lights with the 4.7s being just, or sorry, with the Olight being just a little bit smaller. But otherwise, that is about it. The Olight i3 EOS, it's a great little light. Check them out in all the fashion colors. Pretty reasonably priced, I think in the $30 range. So there you go.